Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about why I don't ever support the idea of publicly mocking someone as a way of advancing your viewpoint or convincing someone that what they're doing is problematic. I see public mocking a lot, I see it on the internet, and I occasionally see it happen in person. I see people call someone out on a problematic behavior in a way that attacks that person, like judges them, and condemns them, and sometimes uses a type of humor that's like deprecating to that person. I don't like this, and I've raised concerns to people who do this, or people who participate in it, and I've heard them defend it in a certain way. Like, first I said, hey, I don't like this because I don't think it's effective at convincing people to change their viewpoints. And people responded by saying, well, that's not the point of it. The point is not to convince someone being mocked to change their viewpoints, but the point is to, like, make a spectacle, an example out of that person, so that you teach other people watching that that's a bad behavior. And at first this sounds kind of plausible. Like, I thought, okay, maybe there's some truth in that. But when I started thinking about it more, I realized that I still don't agree with that. And here's why. There's several reasons. The first reason is that I think that when you're publicly mocking someone, it's very likely that there are a lot of people out there who like that person, trust them, or sympathize with them for some reason. Like, maybe they're someone who does the same behavior that the person does. And I think that if you attack that person, you're likely to lead other people who identify with that person to feel a uh, sort of solidarity with them, and to feel that same defensiveness. And so I think that the failure to reach someone doesn't just apply to the person being mocked, but it applies to a wide range of other people who might feel solidarity with that person. And I think it's those are the people, often, that are most in need of being reached by the message. And I think that's really problematic, then, because you don't reach those people, you just alienate them. I also think that it can create conflict and division, like this sort of us-them mentality. And I think that there's a really grave human cost to that kind of conflict. Like today on the news I saw something about someone who had militant atheist views who killed three Muslims. And that's just an example of how this sort of group division can escalate into violence. There are a whole bunch of other problems with that us-them mentality, too. Another reason that I think public mocking is ineffective is that there's a large degree to which, even if someone doesn't feel any, like, solidarity with the person being mocked initially, the mere act of mocking can make people feel solidarity with them. And I'm someone who tends to feel like this a lot. And I think one of the reasons is that I was bullied and mocked a lot as a kid. And so whenever I see anyone being mocked, I have this natural instinct to, like, want to come to that person's defense, to feel compassionately towards them, to identify with them. And I think that there are a large number of people out there who feel this way, and those people can, again, be, like, alienated or pushed away when you mock someone. And it may even happen in unexpected ways. Like, I often get alienated when someone mocks a person who's doing something that I think is really harmful. Like, someone might say something racist, and then someone mocks them for it, but I still feel this sort of compassion for that person. So that's just an example uh, of how that can play out. There's a third reason, though, that I think mocking is problematic, and I think it's one of the deepest reasons, and the most, like, compelling. And that is that mocking is often used as a way to promote harmful or untruthful viewpoints. Just as an example, I talked about being bullied as a kid. One of the ways that that played out is that whenever I did something that was not, like, stereotypically masculine enough, I would sometimes be called these labels like fag, or sissy, or pussy, or things like that. These, like, denigrating labels that were based on this really sexist culture. And so, that's a case where mocking is advancing a viewpoint that is really problematic. 
I see this kind of thing happen with adults, too. Like, a good example, I'll see dialogue in religious circles about homosexuality. And like, for example, I'll hear Christians say things like, oh, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't like this, because it's not engaging in like a deep theological discussion, but it's just sort of throwing around these quick taglines, and I think it's sort of like a bullying tactic. Like, it advances a viewpoint not through rational discourse and seeking of truth, but it advances a viewpoint through peer pressure and sort of sometimes like wit or like level of energy or just brute force. And I think that's really problematic because then untruthful and harmful viewpoints can get propagated. And I think because of this, people resist mocking. Like, they don't necessarily let it convince them of things the same way they would be convi convinced by a rational argument made by someone who is really showing compassion for everyone involved and listening to everyone involved. I think it's really good that people resist mocking in this way, because I think that if we all allowed our opinions to be swayed by public mocking, that would just result in mob rule. Like, whoever had the loudest voice, or whoever had the most numbers supporting their viewpoint, would get that viewpoint represented in the public consciousness. And I think that's really problematic. I think that's how prejudices persist, how untruthful things persist, and how harmful elements of our culture persist. So, I hope I've convinced you that mocking is not a good thing. If you see someone and they're doing something that you don't like and that you think is problematic, I think it's great to call that person out on it, but I think it's important to do it in a positive way. And if you feel the urge to mock that person, I would encourage you to think about some of the things that I said in this video. And similarly, if you're someone who already doesn't like mocking, but you have a hard time talking to people who do it, and convincing them to stop doing it, maybe you could think about some of the ideas I brought up in this video, and explain to those people why you don't like mocking. I would love to hear from you, especially if you have new ideas, other ways of talking about this issue, uh, other concerns you might have, or if there's anything that I said that you don't agree with. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I love when people share my videos, and I love when they subscribe. Thank you!